So in 2020, Tesla had a problem. The Model Y needed a hole and it didn't have one. So in 2020, uh, Sandy Monroe of Monroe Live was tearing down a Model Y. And it was one of the first ones coming off of the assembly line. At the time, Tesla was producing about a thousand Model Ys per week. But when they tore open the car, they looked at the HVAC piece um, and it was the housing covering the whole HVAC assembly. And what they found was this odd little 3D printed, FDM 3D printed part that had been welded into a hole on this large injection molded part. What it appears to have happened is Tesla iterates very quickly. They implement almost dozens of changes to their cars every single day. What must have happened is when, once they had molded the housing for the HVAC unit, they had made some change or had just had an oversight that they needed to fix where they needed this hole to either mount a new sensor or a wire conduit or something along those lines. And the only option to get that updated is to actually update the mold itself where you either carve out some chunk of the mold or you EDM build up some piece of the mold in order to create that hole. That takes a lot of time. In Tesla's case, a lot of time is days or even weeks when they're producing a thousand cars, they have to have that change as quickly as they can get. FDM 3D printing based on that part could probably produce the piece in about one to two hours. So they were able to create a new part and instead of having to wait for the molds to be remade and stop production of those thousand cars per day, they were able to keep on producing with the existing pieces that they had, cut out that section and input the 3D printed part in order to insert a hole into the final piece. Now, the way they probably actually technically did this is they would have taken the new design for the mold and just cropped out the geometry of the final part and then sent that over to the 3D printers. This is not a good way to do it. Generally, you wanna optimize the design for the 3D printing process that you're using. But given the fact that this probably was only used in maybe a few hundred or a few thousand cars to fix this problem until the final tooling came back, it's a really good way to use 3D printing in production in order to get a feature that you didn't have before. So you 3D print the update, you insert it into the final parts, and then you're able to keep on going. But there are a whole bunch of Model Ys out there that have 3D printed parts in them in order to fix a problem live while production was occurring. Have Thanks everybody for watching that video. Let us know down in the comments if there's other topics that you'd like us to talk about. Slant 3D is a mass production 3D printing farm, so we have a, a lot of access to lots of printers and different kinds of machinery. So if there's something that you are interested in about the infrastructure of giant print farms, let us know. Have a great day, everybody.